Welcome back everyone. This is my third video on a face mask and I never really thought I would be doing videos on face masks but the reason why I think they fit on this channel is because they are all being made by somewhat famous outdoor gear companies and I'd say hey if you are an outdoors person and you are looking for a mask why not support one of those companies that is making quality outdoor gear when they're not making masks. So this mask today is from Keen. Notice their little saying, wear masks, love others. And this mask is very different than the other two masks that I tested. And as a matter of fact, this might be the winner winner chicken dinner mask. Um, so I think out of all the masks, this might be my favorite one so far. And it is also teenage approved, just like the outdoor research mask. When I first got these in the mail, I opened them up, I uh, gave one, there's two of them that come in the box. I believe the box with shipping is about $25 or so. Don't quote me on that, could be 24, could be 26, but you get two of them for that price. Um, I let my daughter try one on, and that is the last that I've seen of that mask. It is gone and being packed to be taken off to college somewhere. Not somewhere, I know where she's going. And so this mask so far is, again, the one that I grab when I need a mask as long as I haven't worn it in the last 24 hours. So a couple of things about this mask. It's made with two layers of BCI uh, cotton. And what that means is that stands for the Better Cotton Initiative. It's a, like a cotton, it's a canvas. And that certification just means that it's grown in, in a, a sustainable way. Um, not to get on a soapbox about cotton, but if you look around the Aral Sea in Uzbekistan, what they've done in sucking water out of there to grow cotton. If you look at what's being done in places in the United States, sucking water out of ancient aquifers to grow cotton, it's kind of crazy. If you look in other places in the world where they're, they're, the people picking cotton are just like dosed with chemicals, it just doesn't matter as long as the cotton comes out of the ground, it's kind of crazy. So that's a nice little addition, BCI certified. When I first took the mask out of the box, I did not think I was gonna really like it because it is missing one major thing, and that is the metal piece on the top of the nose. And we'll talk about why that's not a problem in a bit. The other thing is the side ear pieces, just they don't seem to be as stretchy as the other masks. And also the little bead that normally is there on some of the other masks, on this one, it's just a little piece of rubber tubing that is cut there. And so just taking it out of the box, wasn't expecting very much from it. After I put it on, and I'll put it on in a second, uh, after I put it on, it absolutely it felt the most comfortable, and it also seemed to build up the least amount of heat. Maybe it was just in my head. It's been a little bit cooler as of late, um, but so maybe it's just in my head. I don't know. When I put it on, whoop. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, the, elast the lack of elastic is not a problem. And I think that the lack of elastic might actually be a good thing because with the other ones that are elastic, you know, it, they're not big enough to just loop over your ears. So you've got to pull them, right? And once you pull them over your ears, that means they're pulling back that direction. So because of the lack of elastic, once I get it over my ears and I pull down the little uh, fitting right there, it really just sits and it, I don't feel like it's pulling my ear forward. And so I have, again, I have not been in a position yet where I've worn the mask all day long, like at work. Um, but I'm thinking like it might be more comfortable than the elastic ones that are kind of in a constant state of pulling forward. The other thing, is because it doesn't have the band right there at the top of the nose, I thought that that was gonna be a nightmare for me because I wear glasses normally. And with that, without that band, every single mask that I wear, it just, it fogs my glasses, it's ridiculous. And again, I don't know whether it's something a little bit different about the temperature since I've gotten the mask, but I actually, I can't even, I've tried to fog my glasses. I've been like blowing into the mask and my glasses won't fog up. I thought it was coming out of the mask. I put your hand in front of my mouth. You, you can't feel, even though I blow as hard, and I was a tuba player, as long as I can give out as much air as possible, and I can't feel anything coming through the mask. 
also right over here right along the bottom of my chin this piece of fabric right here is not what is creating the seal and I know in some of the other masks again it kind of feels restrictive because you have this tighter I don't know what you want to call it, but this like elastic piece that kind of pulls up under your chin where the seal is being formed is actually higher up on the mask so not the very bottom so this is not being pulled up it's more of just like sitting against my chin I don't know that seems to be a little bit more comfortable than the other ones um, and last but not least I don't know if you saw there is plenty of space between my mouth and the mask um, I know I've tried some masks on that feel right in front of your face and you can't touch you know you just become claustrophobic uh, so that is a nice amount of space in between um, so far so good uh, all of these masks are kind of short-term reviews. Again, I have not worn them all day. And just to give you a little bit of update on the other masks, if you go back to the other masks, if you've seen the reviews for the other masks, please check out the comments. Um, I think some people have left some very valuable comments, and I've pinned some to the top. Like, for example, on the outdoor research uh, mask, one of the problems that I was having with it, somebody else said that, that wasn't a problem at all for them and that they actually with the outdoor research mask it kept falling down on me and this person was a soccer coach you know so they're like yelling on a soccer field and it didn't fall down at all so i pinned that comment to the top also with the hyperlight mountain gear uh someone did mention that it was a little quirky with the sizing they got one batch that fit one batch that didn't fit and so again take a look at the comments below um so again keen face mask uh, so far, so good. And I think, again, so far, it's the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thank you.